All right, welcome back. We're going to try a subtraction problem. We're going to do 1, 2, 2, base 5, and we're going to subtract 4, 3, base 5. So what we really want to be able to subtract is 4 reds and 3 whites. The problem is I don't have enough reds. So I'm going to decompose 1 blue into 5 reds. So there's my 5 reds. We'll put those together. There we go. And we got to get rid of the blue. We've exchanged it, fair traded it. Now, the next piece, we've got our 1, 2, 2 still. It's the same value, even though it looks a little different. And so I now have enough reds that I could subtract the four reds, which is perfect. But I only have two whites, and I need three whites in order to subtract. So I'm going to take one of the red chips and fair trade it for five white chips. So there's my 5, which is the same as a 1, 0. And I'll take the red, trade it in. That's a fair trade. So there goes those pieces. There's my new. Now what's interesting here is that this end result is still the 1, 2, 2, base 5. It just looks different. And so now I have enough. I can subtract 4 groups of red, 3 groups of white. So I'm going to take those away physically, get rid of them. There's my 4, 3, and I subtract by moving them out of the way. I'm left with 2, 4, base 5. So that's the end result of that subtraction. Let's try another one. This time we're going to try 213 base 5 minus 102 base 5. So there's my 2, 1, and 3. And now again, I want to subtract 102 or 102. And as we look at it, I may have enough chips right now to be able to subtract one blue and two whites because that's 102. So I will remove those, I'll take them away, and what remains is 111 base 5. So we don't always have to regroup. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. All right, next problem, 3, 1, 2, 2, minus 4, 0, oh, 3, all base 5. So the first thing I got to do is be able to represent each one of these with chips, and then sometimes I'll see if I need to regroup. So there's my 3, take 1 blue, 2 reds, and 2 whites. Again, I want to subtract 4, 0, 3. So I'm going to take one green chip, and I'm going to exchange it to get more blue chips. So that's a 5 to 1 trade, and I'll regroup that. So there's my new stack of blues. I need more white chips, so I'll trade in one of the reds for five whites. Move those together. And now I've got my 3, 1, 2, 2, which is still this entire value up here even though it looks different, and I now have enough that I can subtract four blues, three whites from what I started with, so I will take those away, and the result, what I'm left with is 2, 2, 1, 4, base 5. All right, next problem, 3, 2, 1, base 5, minus 2, 3, 4, base 5. So this one's going to involve quite a bit of regrouping here. So I'll start with my three blues, two reds, and one white. 
And again, I need to be able to regroup and have two blues, three reds, and four whites at the end. I don't have enough reds, so I'll take and do a five to one trade with my blue. There they are. And now I need some more whites because I only have one. So I'm going to take a red chip, trade it in for five whites. There's five. And now I have enough to subtract two, three, four. Again, the three, two, one is still everything that's up here. It just looks different. All I did is regroup it. Now I'll take away the two blues, three reds, and four whites. Again, I'm done with those, so I will subtract them. Two, three, four. And what remains is my final answer, which is three, two, base five.